Hey what's up guys, Eskazooie here and welcome to another FIFA 16 video and today I've got another hybrid skill squad for you guys based around some of the new 5 star skillers in FIFA 16. So we're going to be starting off with the formation, I decided to go with the 4-3-3 and then the 5th variation also known as the false 9 formation. Uh, it's actually one of the formations I actually really really like for skill squads so I decided to go with this one. Uh, we start off in goal, we have Tim Howard from Everton who got a downgrade I think compared to last year, still looks like a really good goalkeeper and he performed really well really well for me in the seven games I played with the squad. Then now uh, we move to the first centre-back. We have got Farrell there from uh, from the USA who is a centre-back this year. I believe he was a right-back. 82 pace, 69 defending, which is not the greatest. 81 physical, kind of makes up for it. And overall, he uh, he did a great job for me. Then uh, alongside him, we do have Opara, who is probably one of the best silver defenders uh, last year for me. Amazing player. This year, he looks like a really, really fun player to use as well. And to be honest, he was just as good as he was last year in Ultimate Team. So I really, really liked him in the squad as as well then uh, on the right back we have uh, Stefan Lichtsteiner who is actually a right back as default player this year which is really really nice 83 pace 80 defending 79 physical a really really nice looking card uh, then on the left back we have Adriano who looks like a decent left back very very well rounded for a left back as well all the stats above 70 which actually make him look like a really really nice midfielder then uh, we move to the CDM we have the first legend and the only legend in this squad that is uh, Gennaro Gattuso the uh, new legend in FIFA 16 I was quite excited to use this guy since I actually really really liked him as a player he was just so so cool to look at like he was so aggressive his tackles were seriously so so good so I was uh, I was really really happy when they actually released him as a legend so um, yeah I did manage to score one goal with him not really the best one a rebound shot but as a CDM you can't really expect players to, to score many goals uh, sort of a shame though that I hit the post first time because it could have been a nice goal but still a great finish from uh, Gattuso to, uh, to get the only goal he scored in this team then uh, we move on to the first sentiment that is uh, Munir Obadi who is mainly there for chemistry reasons I still really really liked him in his squad he was sort of a player who kind of showed up every single time I was on the attack I tried a couple long shots as well this one was very very close managed to hit the crossbar I can see as well goal line technology was needed to actually see if it was a goal or not and I uh, actually managed to score one goal with him as well after some pretty nice stuff from Neymar you can see right there borrow to Ronaldo job to beat two defenders a nice pass to him the goalkeeper came out he went to the little link over him and now uh, we pick up the only goal we managed to score with him still a really really nice goal and as I said the kind of reason why I went with him was because of chemistry but I still really really liked him and I think I'll be using him a lot in uh, in the future then now uh, we move it to the other sentiment another Moroccan silver player that is actually a five star skill that is Hachim Mastur currently plays for AC Milan but as you probably may know he's actually on loan to Malaga but unfortunately during the time at the capture event I wasn't able to uh, to use his Malaga version which was a shame but um, still he was a pretty decent player to uh, to play with although I didn't really play him in the correct position I used him as a sentiment in a false nine formation and therefore he didn't really show up that much uh, then we move to the right winger that is going to be a five star skiller who transferred back to the Serie A that is Juan Guadrado and as you probably may know if you watch my FIFA 15 videos I never really was like a huge fan of Guadrado simply because he had too much pace I know it was a weird thing to say but for me sometimes when players have a lot of pace they seem a bit clunky in the ball when you pull off skill moves which is something I don't really notice that much but it is just with certain players and that is what I kind of felt with Quadrado last year but this year he actually feels like a really really awesome player to use I did manage to score three goals with him which is not that much but whenever I got like a big chance on goal with him he managed to convert it into a goal you can see it right there a nice goal there after some great stuff uh, with Neymar and also with Buffal which are the two players you will see in a second but um, yeah I think Quadrado is going to be a five star skiller I'll be using a lot in this and this year's FIFA uh, you can see here as well nice a uh, nice bit of skill with the Bolas flick include a nice weak foot shot unfortunately hit the post and then at the final clip I managed to, uh, to get with Quadrado which is actually a goal uh, some awesome stuff inside the box some great skill moves a nice uh, shot with a weak foot into the back of the net and um, yeah those are pretty much all the goals I managed to get with him then uh, we move to the center forward another new five star skiller that is Buffal I also used him in a different squad that is also why he's a center tech mid but he still managed to get nine chemistry in that position uh, you can see right there he has some awesome awesome stats also just an amazing upgrade compared to his uh, FIFA 15 version he was a 63 rated bronze and this year 78 rated gold he looks like a really really awesome player and out of the new five star skillers he is definitely my favorite player uh, then we move to the left winger which I think is a player you guys were expecting already that is of course Neymar who gets that perfect link with Adriano he's 88 rated this year still has that five star skill moves and five star weak foot his stats actually haven't really changed compared to his version last year which is kind of uh, strange because of course his rating went up by two but I think EA 
they went with some sort of a different rating system, which is why he got that plus two upgrade, even though his stats on his card anyway haven't really changed. But I assume his uh, in-game stats uh, definitely have changed compared to FIFA 15. But uh, anyway, I only managed to score one goal with him in, uh, in I think, 12 games and got two assists as well, which was pretty disappointing since Neymar was my favorite five-star skiller last year in Ultimate Team. So I expected him to do a little bit better, but I think the main reason why he didn't really perform that much for me was because I was sort of too hyped to play with a new five-star skiller such as Buffal and, uh, and Mastur. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the playlist in the description down below so you can check out all the other FIFA 16 videos I've uploaded so far to my channel. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.